Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In our last lesson, we were solving simple missing angles from a triangle. You were given two of the angles. You had to add those and subtract from 180 degrees. Today, we're going to take it a step further. Um, there's going to be information in all three angles. We know that those three angles equal 180 degrees. But notice that there's going to be some variables thrown in here, which means we're going to have to solve some algebraic equations in order to find that missing value of that angle. So the key thing we need to remember here is that triangles equal 180 degrees. Those three angles equal 180 degrees. So when you add those three together, that's what you get, 180. So that's what we have to do first, is we have to add these angles together. I'm always going to start right now with the one with the variable. So I'm going to start with that 6C. So we're going to put that out here, 6C. Plus, I have an angle of 36 degrees. Plus, I have an angle of, what's that little symbol mean, that little red half square? It means a 90 degree angle. So if you have that red square and not a number, you know that means, it means a 90 degree angle. So at this point, I have my equation set up. I have 6C plus 36 plus 90. 6C plus 36 plus 90 equals 180 degrees. Our next step is to combine like terms. Well, I can combine those two on that side of the equal sign. They're just whole numbers. So I combine those. I bring down my 6C. 36 plus 90 gives me 126 equals 180. Now this looks like those equations that we solved earlier in this year. Um, so what I need to do is I need to balance my equation out. I need to get the variable on one side, the number on the other. To do that, I'm going to subtract 126 from this side. What I do to one side, I must, must, must do to the other side. I'm going to bring down my 6C. My 6C is going to equal whatever this is. That's 4. Change that to a 7. 6C equals 54. But I'm not done yet. I need to solve for C. How do I solve for C? Well, I divide by C's coefficient. And we're going to find out that C equals 9. No, that does not mean that my uh, total answer is 9. You see here it says C equals 9. So I'm going to just write that in there right now as 9. But if you look, it wants the measure of that angle as well. So, so far I know that C equals 9. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. The C equals 9. And now I need the whole angle measure, what this angle is. So to find 6C, or to find this angle measure, that was 6 times C. Well, if C equals 9, instead of 6 times C, 6 times 9, and that equals 54 degrees. So let's solve another one. Yes, there's a lot more steps. You are going to need scratch paper to solve these. So whenever you sit down for Get More Math, make sure you have blank paper ready to go so that you can use that blank paper to solve your equations. You're not gonna be able to do these ones easily in your head. All right, so we know it's equal to 180. So I know that this plus this plus this equals 180. So W plus 13 plus 54 plus 90 
equal 180. So I need to combine my like terms. I can combine all three of them. They're just whole numbers. So let's see, 13 plus 54, that gives me 67. 67 plus 90 gives me 157 equals 180. To get W by itself, I subtract the 157, bring W down here, and W equals 23. So W is going to equal 23. So let me go ahead and put that in. We need to find the angle measure here. So then once we find what the variable is worth, we got to plug that variable back in for that missing angle. If W is 23, so we got 23 plus 13 instead of W plus 13, and 23 plus 13 gives you 36. So that missing angle right there is 36 degrees. So we'll put 36 degrees in that box there. If you're not getting the correct answers, a few things to look out for is to make sure that you have set the problem up correctly or make sure you've combined the right like terms Make sure that you've subtracted correctly, maybe. And then make sure when you're solving for the variable, you know that the variable goes in the first box of what the variable's worth. The second box gives you the whole angle measure. All right, so the equal what? 180. So I start with my variable. I've got 7y minus 19 plus 39 plus 76. Combine these like terms. I've got minus 19 plus 39. That just adds up to 20. 20 plus 76 gives me 96 equals 180. I'm going to subtract the 96, subtract it from the other side, bring down my 7y, and that gives me 10 borrow from there and I'll borrow from there. <coughs> so I've got four and I've got eight. So seven Y, seven Y equals 84. To find out what Y is equal to, I subtract by seven. And that gives me 84 divided by seven gives me, I believe 12. So y equals 12. So I'm going to plug that in there for 12. Now to find my missing angle. y equals 12. But this angle says 7y minus 19. So 7 <coughs> times y, well y is 12 minus 19. 7 times 12 is 84, minus 19. 84 minus 19 gives me 65. So that missing angle, measure of angle x, z, y, is 65 degrees. <coughs> Go over one more example for us. So again, they equal 180 degrees. I start with my variable. 3Q plus 6 plus 46 plus 95 equal 180. I can combine those three whole numbers together. I'll go ahead and bring my 3Q down. 6 plus 46 is 52. 52 
plus 95 is 147. And then it equals 180. Subtract my 147 from each side. That gives me 33, so 3q equals 33. Divide by that coefficient on both sides. Q equals 11. So my first one is 11. So my variable is worth 11. Now let's find out what my angle is worth. If Q equals 11 and I've got 3Q plus 6, I plug that 11 back in for Q. So instead of 3Q, 3 times 11 plus 6. 3 times 11 is 33 plus 6. 33 plus 6 is 39. So my missing angle is 39 degrees. All right, this lesson's a little more difficult than the last time. Make sure that you're following the directions that I have given in here, following the same steps. Make sure you're writing them out, not taking shortcuts, uh, making sure that you're doing the subtraction problems correctly. You can always double check that with a calculator. So go ahead and get more math. We just have a few problems and get more math like this to attempt. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. We'll see you next time.